Hello everyone and welcome to another random video on the internet, and today we will be building a character to defeat the three legendary Sanin, all at once in their primes, so we're talking Warark Tsunade, we're talking Sage Mode Jiraiya from the Pain Fight, and we're talking War Arc Orochimaru. If you're curious to see where I think they scale, then I've already made a video talking about the three legendary Sanin versus Pain and how they scale to Pain and... Yeah, I pretty much covered all my bases in that video. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background, he's making a little bit of noise. Uh, but anyways, we're going to be spinning this wheel, we're going to be getting one of 199 characters. I got rid of all the god tiers for this one, got rid of Madara plus tier characters, got rid of the OCs because they weren't supposed to be there in the first place. So now the strongest characters that we have are Casey Aminato, Rinnegan Obito, and Nagato, and Tobirama as well, maybe, depending on where you think he scales. So like these are like the strongest characters, KCM2, Sage, Naruto as well. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just go again and get started. Sorry if I sound a bit under the weather today, uh, stuff has been happening. But anyway, the first one is Forest of Death Naruto with the QB amp. Not the best choice, you know, he already fought Orochimaru and got kinda bodied. Uh, I am going to take his... Uh, he didn't have Gamabunta at that point, he... The stats are not good enough. Uh, I'll take his power up. He had healing at this point wasn't good enough as well because he could only regenerate lungs and stuff after he attained the one-tailed cloak from the QB. So, yeah, that's that's that. So I'll take his power up. You know, he has a pretty pretty good boost from the nine tails chakra. Not gonna be enough to beat Orochimaru though. So then, okay, sixth gate guy. This is this one's good. Sixth gate guy. So this one from the war, he was able to keep up with Jinchuriki, who were KCM Naruto speed. Well, fatigued KCM Naruto, but still, I'll take his speed. He's he should at least be relative to the Sanin, if not abide, if not above them. He wouldn't be like too far above them, but I think he could keep up with the three of them at once. Choji from part one. Uh, again, not the best pick. Uh, I'll take his weapons. He basic random kunai and maybe some paper bombs or something. You know, basic equipment. Uh, I, I'll take that from Choji. Give me Kisame. I want Kisame. Eno, okay. And not not the best team so far. War Arc Eno. She has nothing going for her. Maybe IQ, but nah, you know, IQ is not good enough. Uh, because, like, the three, the Orochimaru and Jiraiya are very tricky fighters. You need good IQ to fight them. And this time, I'm not getting enough of a stats advantage from the god tier characters to just speed blitz and one shot them, so IQ actually matters. Um, I'll take her. Healing, I guess? <laughs> she doesn't have any healing, but I kinda want a good summoning, I kinda want good stats, you know? So, healing isn't too necessary. Okay, I'm taking in this, uh, the Six Tails. The, what's his name? Uh, come on, I knew the Bijou's names. Uh, Mar Shikaku, Maratabi, Isobu... Uh, Son Goku, Kokua, Saiken, Saiken, yeah. Uh, I'm taking his chakra. He has Bijou levels of chakra are very good for this battle because the Sunning, in terms of raw chakra, should not scale to the Bijou just yet. Like I, I think they could beat Bijou, but not like scale to them in terms of just raw power and raw chakra amount. Kurosuchi, uh, she doesn't really have much. Oh, she, her stats are not good enough. Her only jutsu that we've seen her use are like... By the way, this is Naruto Kurosuchi, not Boruto. So, for her, she only uses Earth-style jutsu a bit. Can she fly? I think she can fly, right? But that may have just been Anoki making her whiteless. That, that wouldn't really... M can she fly? That's the thing. 
Because, did she fly on her own or did Anoki make her weightless in order to let her fly? Because if she can fly... Okay, I'm going to assume that she can fly because I don't know. Like, Anoki was already making the whole Turtle Island weightless and that. So I don't know if he could, like, handle a few more people on top of that. So I, I'm going to assume that she can fly and take her ninjas to Genjutsu. She has lava style as well, which she can harden and trap people in it and stuff. So... She's pretty good in that department then. I'm gonna have a huge range advantage, you know, flight. Pretty pretty good advantage. Okay, Naruto with the three tails. Uh, a weaker, a much weaker Orochimaru already took a much stronger Naruto on and didn't die. This version of Naruto also, like a stronger version of Naruto, couldn't kill Jiraiya, base Jiraiya. So in terms of strength, I don't think that he's good enough. And healing would be good, but I don't have that anymore. He has Gamabunta now, though, so I'll, I'll take Naruto. He has Gamabunta now. So, yeah, the summoning, you know, he, it could distract the Gamabunta that Jiraiya summons for a little bit. Funny funny scenario, two Gamabuntas in the battlefield. Tsume. You know, she actually might be extremely OP because she managed to, like push away the Preda path a little. She, she managed to like push the Preda path a few feet or a few meters. So technically her strength might be above all the others on Ninja Saiyan. But in actuality, no, because Pain's attention was focused on somewhere else at that point. He was talking to Tsunade and stuff. Uh, I could take her as a partner maybe because she's not smart enough she like saw pain running she, she saw the human path not the human the prayer path running and thought that she scared it or something so her iq is not that great doju too she doesn't have any the stats are not good enough so i guess i'll take her as a partner oh, sorry sorry for that uh yeah i guess uh, my partner is gonna be useless like, I could just wait until I get someone OP, like KCM2, Naruto, and Gay can take him as a partner and win, but... Eh. Okay, Gengetsu. Ah, uh, now I'm... Come on. Ninjutsu Genjutsu would have been so good. I'll take his... IQ, because he seems pretty smart. You know, a Mizukage. He, he also had very tricky abilities. He was able to figure out Gara's tricks and stuff as well, so... He might have good enough IQ. Seriously, I, now I wish I would have taken Ninjutsu Genjutsu because none of the Sanin should be immune to his Genjutsu. Kimimaro, I'm taking durability. Uh, depending, I, I didn't put Prime and Sekimimaro as separate entries, but if this is Prime Kimimaro, he was able to tussle with KCM Naruto as an Edo, so... I think that his durability should be good enough to, like, tussle with the Sanin as well, take a few hits from them and not die. And just, like, following that logic. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one's this one might be a loss, not gonna lie. Uh, dojutsu, she doesn't have any, but, like, do I risk getting someone with really good dojutsu? Because if I get the Sharingan, I haven't... I have very good um, a very good amount of chakra, and I have a very good amount of speed. So if I get someone with the Rinnegan, then I should be able to just speed like not maybe not speed blitz, but like get close enough to the Sanin and to suck their souls out with the and with Sakon not Sakon Saiken's chakra, I should be able to soul suck them. But at the same time, I might not get a Rinnegan or a Mangekyo Sharingan. If I get a Mangekyo Sharingan, by the way, that's GG, because all of them would just get caught in a Genjutsu as well. But if I take Dojutsu, then I'm gonna have to rely on getting someone strong enough to, like, deal significant damage to the Sanin. What, what do I gamble on? Tell me what would you gamble on in the comments. I'm, I'm really interested to know. Like let let's go through these real quick. So in terms of raw power, who would be strong enough to damage them? And let's look at who has the Sharingan and who who has who has raw power. So Sasuke, Obito, and another Sasuke, those are all Sharingans. Kakashi has Sharingan, but not good enough to Genjutsu the Sanin. 
Also, all three of these, maybe with the exception of Obito, should be able to damage the Sanin. Like, um, Rock Lee might be able to damage them. Sakura should be able to damage them. Uh, Seventh Gate Guy damages. Sasuke Genjutsu's. Uh, Sage Jiraiya damages. Kakashi Gen Ka- Kamui's. Uh, Raikage can damage them probably. Dojutsu, if I could get Donzo, I would have like 10 gen, 10 lives. Sage Naruto would be strong enough to damage them. Killer B would be strong enough. Uh, Ginkaku, maybe with the QB cloak, could probably damage them. Pain could damage them, but he could also soul steal them. Uh, Fu could probably damage them as an Edo. Might die with the 8th gate. Eh, not, I don't know about that one. Kurama could definitely damage them. Orochimaru, Nagato, Sasuke. Uh, so it seems like we have a lot of dojutsu, but at the same time we have a lot of... Uh, m- I think we have more chances to just strength them out. So I'll take Ken's dojutsu, even though she doesn't have any. So then I'm betting on some getting someone with enough strength to actually damage the Sanin well enough to beat them in a few hits. All right, please. Please. Kakashi. Okay, this is a loss. Either way, either way. If I would have bet on Dojutsu, then I would have lost because he doesn't have good enough Dojutsu. This is part one, Kakashi, by the way. You can see from the book. So yeah, this one's probably a loss. Mm. I have mm, a lot of speed, a lot of chakra, decent durability, I'd say. Uh, Decent summoning, but it gets hard countered by the three of them. Uh, I have a power up, a little, little power up, you know. Pretty good IQ, maybe, and I could also fly. This is this is probably a loss for me, though. I would have a lot of stamina. I could fly for a long time. I could outspeed the Sanin, but I just can't damage them enough. Like, even if I slit, like, Orochimaru's throat, he can just regenerate. Same for Tsunade. Jiraiya, probably same deal. Like, even if I could slit his throat, which I I doubt that I could, given his durability and Kakashi's strength. Like, I just think Akunai might just bounce off of Jiraiya. (laughs) It'll also bounce off of Orochimaru and and probably bounce off of Tsunade as well, if they're being in their prime and amped by the Byakugo seal and the Hashirama cells and stuff. So yeah, this is probably a loss for me. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Goodbye.